guys, 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 something amazing just happened. Quick recap in case you're new here. A couple years ago, I went on a date with a one-armed girl. I recently joined the United States amputee soccer team, and we are in need of a one-armed goalie. And I remembered that the one-armed girl happened to be a D1 college-level soccer player. The problem is that we only went on one date, and so I did not remember her name or anything else about her. And so I turned to you, my gloriously resourceful YouTube subscribers, and I made a video asking you, based on this information, which is pretty much no information at all, can you find out who this girl is, what her name is, anything like that. And I'm pleased to report that in a demonstration of both the incredible power and the incredible creepiness of the internet, you had found her within like 10 minutes. In fact, you had found multiple one-armed D1 level soccer player girls, and I had to just like look through and Google each one, and then I saw the picture of the one it was, and I was like, well, that's her, 10 minutes flat, Boom! You guys did it! Awesome! High five! Okay. Sorry, that was a little bit uh, overly enthusiastic on the high five. So anyway, I emailed her and I was like, Hey, remember me? I'm that guy from the past. And I asked her if she would like to go play uh, soccer with us and if she would like to try out for the World Cups. And she just replied to my email and I'm very nervous to open it. Now, I'm nervous to open it because there's a lot on the line here. First of all, does she remember me? Does she remember me fondly? And most importantly, does she want to play soccer with us? All right, so I have her email right in front of me. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to read it live with you. Now, if this was a movie, we would hear a voiceover of her voice reading the email to us. Now, unfortunately, she's not in the car with me, and I can't ask her to do a voiceover because that would be super creepy. So instead, I'm going to do something even more creepy, which is convert my voice in post-production to a female voice so it sounds like she's reading it to us. Yeah, you like that? All right, here we go. Hey, Josh! Exclamation mark. Uh, that probably is going to sound really funny. <laughs> All right, this is a good sign. Apparently she remembers me. Great to hear from you, exclamation mark. Sorry for the delayed response. Just got back from the World Cup. Amazing experience, exclamation mark. Point of clarification, this would mean that she went to attend the able-bodied normal FIFA World Cup, which is taking place in Brazil. Of course, I'm trying to recruit her to play in the amputee version, which is taking place in Mexico. But the fact that she went to attend the FIFA World Cup is a good sign because it means that she's still plugged into the world of soccer and likes soccer and might want to play soccer with a bunch of people that have one leg and one arm. I shall continue. Thanks for thinking of me for this. Unfortunately, I don't think this year is going to work for me timing-wise. Sounds like it will be a blast and an opportunity to meet some really cool people, though. Womp womp. Let's see if she provides any explanation. I live in a certain city. That I am not going to reveal to you for the sake of her privacy. These days. If you ever find yourself nearby, please reach out. Hope you are doing well and good luck in the tournament. Well, that's too bad. I think she would have been a great asset to our team. But... You can't win them all. The world is not a wish-granting factory, unfortunately. And uh, the most important thing is here that we tried, and awesomely, that you guys found her in like 10 minutes, and I was able to reach out to her. Um, I'm not sure I would have been able to find her so quickly on my own. So we gave it a shot. Fortunately, I know other people with one arm. I'm not sure if any of them are as good at soccer as she is, but I will try to reach out to them, and hopefully we will find another one-armed goalie before the World Cups take place in December.